Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upside Dan. With the new Scream coming out January 14th, I wanted to talk to you about the Scream franchise in my segment, My Excitement 4. Dot, dot, dot. Twenty-five years after the original series of murders in Woodsboro, a new killer emerges and Sidney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. This movie is directed by Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillette. It's written by James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick. It stars Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, Marley Shelton, Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Dylan Minnette, Jack Quaid, Jasmine Saber Brown, Sonia Anmar, Mikey Madison, Kyle Gellner, and Mason Gooding. So since the announcement of this film, I was a little skeptical because we don't have Wes Craven anymore. But then when I found out it was by the creators of 2019's Ready or Not, I got more excited. Matt Bedinelli Open and Tyler Gallat also directed Ready or Not and Guy Busick wrote Ready or Not. Our Christopher Murphy also had a hand in writing Ready or Not but he is not attached to the new Scream movie. James Vanderbilt has a producer credit on Ready or Not. It's by a lot of the same people as Ready or Not and I really liked that film. If there were any like directors and writers that I think could pull off a new Scream movie, I think it is them because they really hit the nail on the head with Ready or Not, I thought. I thought it was a fun movie with a fun premise. I think it felt very Scream-like, so I'm very excited to see what they do with this new Scream. So that upped my excitement level for this because once they were attached, I was like, well, yeah, like I said, if anyone could do it, I think that they definitely could. And obviously just the returning cast, I love Nev Campbell as Sydney. I think she's a really great final girl. She's probably my favorite final girl of all time. I have loved her in all of the Scream movies. I loved Courtney Cox as Gale throughout all the Scream movies and David Arquette as Dewey. I think that these three play really well off each other and I'm looking forward to seeing what dynamic they have in the new one. I'm just so happy that they're returning. It just shows that there's a good script and good directing, I think, because I think Nev Campbell said she was apprehensive about returning, but then when she read the script, or I believe she, she got on board. So I'm very happy with that. I think that that shows promise that she thinks that this is holding up Wes Craven's legacy because he, he is a fantastic filmmaker. Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson have done such a great job with the past screams. I'll get to what I think of the rest of the series in a minute, but I think that they've done such a great job. So I'm glad that it, you know, to the actors, at least it holds up. To their legacy. I think that that's very important because meta humor can be very hard to do right and I think there are a lot of filmmakers that can really do it right. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, the when they do meta, they they do it right. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what these directors and writers do with this material and if it improves on the franchise. And I, I'm really hoping it does and I'm hearing some good buzz about it. I'm trying to avoid spoilers altogether obviously but I, what I am hearing is that it is a great movie, that it is for Scream fans, that a lot of Scream fans are really going to enjoy this movie. It's funny. It's brutal. So I'm really looking forward to it, like, so much. My excitement level's through the roof. The original Scream is just one of my favorite movies. Probably my favorite horror movie. It was one of the first horror movies that I've watched. I think it was the first. It just means so much to me. I love the meta humor. I love that it's a love letter to horror films, but it's also parodying them. It's really clever, I think, and it's really well directed and written. And with a really good twist that I didn't see coming. Skeet Ulrich and Matthew Lillard, Matthew Lillard especially, just put on great performances. Matthew Lillard is such an underrated actor. And of course, our three main legacy characters did great in that movie. So I'm really hoping this new one is a a really great ode to that and that it's also a love letter to probably new horror movies. I don't know what it's going to be parodying but it's going to be cool But because I love you know the wit there, the uh, the ability to parody the genre but also be like I said a love letter to it because it really is and I love the horror genre and even though Scream was my first movie I still loved it but then as I saw more I just saw how much more of a homage to the horror genre it was and I think that that's just brilliant here and I definitely can see why this is one of people's favorite movies. I think that it's such a masterclass in this genre. So I've, I've seen both trailers. There's the final trailer that just released recently at the filming of this video and I think that both trailers were really good. The first one was really good. The second one, the second one's a quick one and it's more to show the critics raving about this movie which I love and I think that I think that this movie does look really good. I think it looks well directed, well written. I'm glad that critics and fans alike are really enjoying this film. I'm glad they showed it off in this final trailer, even though it's quick. The week of release, basically, I think that it released, and I think that's really cool. And I, 
I did like both trailers. I really liked the first trailer. I love seeing it in the theaters, even though I have seen it a lot now. I thought that it was a really good trailer, that it brought me back into this world. I loved seeing Sydney, Gale, and Dewey, and all the new characters. I'm so excited to see how this new cast does, because I like a lot of them from other projects, and I, and I think that they are talented. They seem really good in the trailer, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I will say for video wise, I didn't, I haven't watched really much of the TV spots or like the social media spots or whatever you want to call them. I really haven't watched those, so I, do, I can't speak on those, but I'm super excited for what I have seen in video form in, you know, in the final trailer and of course the first trailer that released. Side note, Jonathan from Man of Movies did a great trailer reaction to the first trailer. He has a little short film in there as well. It begins with part of the short film and then it goes into his trailer reaction, which was really good. And then it ends with a short film. Make sure you watch that video if you're a Scream fan, if you have not already, because it is just, it's very well done, I thought. I will leave a link to that down in the description below. Another thing about the promotional department that's got me so excited are the posters and the promotional pictures and all of that. That I have been looking at, I love them. I think that the posters are so well done. Each one that releases, I'm like, oh, I love that one, I love that one, I love that one, I love that one, I love that one. It catches the feel of Scream in just a poster. It kind of catches that time period of the first one. It feels like it's for the first one, which just adds to the meta humor. It's a love letter to these this genre, but it's also a pair of it so they have all these really cool posters modern and posters that look like they should be back in the 80s or 90s and the, a lot of them have like the tagline it's always someone you know don't see it alone like the one I have on screen now it just it looks it looks so old it looks like it would be a there's a few that look like they would be VHS copies and there's one that actually is a VHS uh, that it's on a VHS in the poster yeah that this one looks like it would be a VHS cover and I think that that is so cool I love that they did it. I love how it looks. And then you have this one, the VHS one I was talking about. That would be such a cool cover for a steel book or just the cover in general. They release cases that look like VHS tapes, but it has the Blu-rays or the, the 4Ks inside. So that would be really cool if they did this for screen with, did you forget to lock the front door? You know, it's a really great, the blood really pops out. I think that that's such a cool poster. And then you have Ghostface standing like in the moonlight with blood like it goes down and it's his body but then blood starts to form and it's like it's dripping blood it's always someone you know again with a really cool 80s or 90s or whatever um screen logo a screen title down below another one that looks like it could be on a vhs tape the promotional department did such a great job here and then i love the 40x one kind of going more modern the 40x one feeling of 40x it's like it's as if scream got snapped as if ghostface got snapped in by thanos but it's really a haunting image. I, I love this image and I would hang it up. I would get the poster and hang it up. It's a really cool 40X image and I am supposed to be seeing it in 40X. So that is very exciting to see how a horror movie is in 40X. I saw Spiral in 40X and that was actually really cool. I, I wasn't expecting much, but that it made me have a lot more fun with that film than I did the first time watching it at home. And then I love this one. Discover it at Dolby Cinema. Scream only in theaters January 14th and it's um, like going back to Woodsboro but Ghostface's mouth is like a tunnel for cars and stuff. I think that's such a haunting visual and I, I very great. I read that um, someone, a fan actually designed something similar to this and they actually reached out to that fan and they made it into a poster. That's what I heard which is honestly really a cool idea and a great way to promote your film. And then you have the main poster with all the cast and characters on it, the sign of Woodsboro. This is a really good, what they would call floating heads poster. I think, I think that this is one of the better ones with Ghostface in the background and then all the characters up kind of in the middle and then the house, you know, welcome to Woodsboro. The killer is on this poster. I love that they said that the killer is on this poster. It's very cool. I mean, it could just mean because Ghostface is there. so whoever's under the mask is on this poster but I'm, my guess is that yes one of the characters obviously usually um but I have no like guesses who it could be and then I love the character posters of course Nev Campbell, Connie Cox, David Arquette, Marley Shelton all of the you know those three legacy characters and then Marley Shelton is returning from Scream 4 which is awesome and I'm looking forward to see what they do with her character actually and then you of course you have the new characters on character posters like Melissa Barrera you have Jenna Ortega, Dylan Manette, Jack Quaid, Jasmine Zabo Brown, Sonia Armar, Mickey Madison, Mason Gooding, all these characters got really awesome character posters 
of them just holding just the screen mask in various poses either on their face under their face next to them it's over their face or a part of their face i think that that is just amazing artwork they did a really good job with these posters it's always someone you know again the tagline very cool and all of these are like in even if it's just a little different they're in a little different poses i love the legacy characters of course yeah they're all holding the screen mask it's haunting it's cool you never know who it's gonna be and then one of the first posters we saw was just ghostface ghostface holding a knife it's always someone you know really cool poster similar to the others but it's it's a very well done poster so yeah the promotional material is my point it's it's been very good the pictures and posters have just been phenomenal to me and upped my hype for this film i'm very very excited for this movie that's top tier it's not only in my of course most anticipated of january it's one of my most anticipated of the year i am so excited to see this new chapter in the screen franchise so where do i stand on the other ones though so scream one i love like i said i was talked about scream one already scream two i do like a lot i love i would say i love it it's a very good sequel i thought um scream three is the weakest to me i watch it it's okay but it's it's the weakest i think it's the weakest to a lot of people i love scream four i don't care i scream four is really good to me it's just a fun time i thought and it's a good a good continuation it's not as as connected to the other ones other than obviously the legacy characters returning i like it i i do enjoy it a lot as a matter of fact I, my ranking right now is probably scream one scream four scream two down a bit scream three and i'm excited to see where this new one fits in another reason i'm excited the new one is going to be the first scream movie i ever see in theaters which I, is so exciting i'm gonna i'm i feel like i'm gonna love this movie so much and I'm hoping that it takes my second spot in the ranking. There you have it. That's like just my personal thoughts and opinions on the promotional material, the cast, the trailers, everything. Why I'm excited for this franchise to continue. Why I'm excited for this new one to come to theaters. Why I'm seeing it in theaters. I'm just so excited. So definitely go check out Scream January 14th. But what about you? Are you excited for the new Scream movie? Let me know down in the comment section. If you love the Scream franchise, how excited are you for this new movie? Are you going to see it in theaters? Let me know down in that comment section. Please blow up that comment section. And what's your favorite scary movie? If you like this video, you're going to like some other content from me. So click around here to see something else. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video with the Scream fans in your life. Hit that notification bell, subscribe, and come to the Upside Dan.